Ed, thanks for joining me again. It continues to be an incredibly busy period for Lodestar. Earlier this month, you reported significant gold, copper, and zinc mineralization at your flagship Irahidi project, which has been the catalyst for the latest drill program, which is now underway. To start, can you just recap what made the recent results so significant? Yeah, well, the Irahidi project is a new project for the company, or has been for you know, the last 12 months or so, and we've even increased the size of the project during that time to 1,400 square kilometres now. It's really, really underexplored. There has been some significant copper hits in the past, up to 7%, but 95% of the, the total area hasn't been properly explored. And the drill results we got this year were particularly encouraging because that's the first time anyone's hit significant gold, like economic type of grade gold intersections within the project area, along with the copper and some zinc results. So it's early days, but all the indications are that you know we're potentially on the significant minimised system and could be very big, given the geological setting, being similar to the Briar Basin, like that hosts the Grassa high-grade copper gold deposit. So we're in a very similar geological setting, and so all the indications are. Okay, so with these results in the bank, how have they influenced the planning for this new round of drilling, and what would constitute a successful campaign in your eyes? Yeah, well, this round of drilling is just um, diamond core drilling, and that's really important to follow up the air core and the RC drill results because we really need to, we're drilling under sand covers, like, like the background and so behind me. So it means you don't have much outcrop. It's hard to get an orientation on the stratigraphy, but, and also any of the mineralisation. So we need the oriented diamond core to measure the mineralisation, the stratigraphy, uh, the geological contacts, and also the relationship between the copper and the gold and the zinc. So uh, what we're really hoping for Besides getting those um, orientations, are some high grade um, mineralized intersections in this round of drilling as well. And that will really help us in the future to vector in towards the, the best parts of the mineralized systems. Thanks, Ed. Now, you recently attended IMARC in Sydney, and by all accounts, you received a really, really strong reception. What was the feedback from your discussions at IMARC? And when you were chatting to those externally, what have been the overarching sentiments on the company's trajectory? Yeah, we got very positive uh, feedback. We had some really good meetings, uh, very sophisticated investors, um, you know, well-educated in this space. The feedback we're getting really is right now, everyone's very, very cautious about how they choose to invest their dollars. You know, that's probably worldwide, not just here. But, uh, but they're, so they're looking for the next big thing. So for us to just get on the radar and get those people following us to look out for significant results in the future or economic intersection in the future, because we're well aware we haven't, we haven't made the big discovery yet, but we're on the right track. So the feedback we're getting is great. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, we like the change in the direction of the company, the focus on the Aerohead project, and also because we, you know, we have an investment in FPM as well too, which can fund our exploration doing dilutive capital raises. Everyone's very supportive of our strategy and it is really following us uh, quite closely. I'm looking forward to the, the new results. Finally, Ed, as we come to a close on 2023, how do you reflect on the progress the company has made this year and what sort of platform has the company given itself to launch into the new year? Well, we're very happy with the progress we've made. I mean, we started in the field in February, but we were delayed until May before we actually started drilling because of the you know, unseasonal rains. Since then, you know, we've done the 5,000 metres of air core, 4,000 metres of RC. We'll do the 1,000 metres of um, diamond core before Christmas, get those results in January. We'll get assay results in from about 5,000 soil samples over the summer as well. So it's really, you know, I say it's like having a 1,000-piece jigsaw puzzle. We started off with about, you know, 950 pieces missing. You know, and we're probably added a few hundred to to that jigsaw puzzle, but we've still got a fair way to go. But we're building a really, really solid platform for next year, and we expect a lot more drill targets to come out of the data review, the, the drilling data review, geophysical data review, and uh, the soil geochem data review over the summer and really hit the ground running uh, in the first quarter of next year. So we'll have a lot of drill targets. It's just deciding how to select the, you know, how to prioritise those drill targets, but we're looking for an even bigger uh, 2024. Thanks, Ed. All the best with the campaign and uh, really appreciate you joining me today. Thanks so much.